Students, now let us understand the lesson of compound interest with formula. Now the formula we are going to use is this formula. The formula says A amount is equal to principal into bracket 1 plus rate that is R upon 100 bracket complete raised to N. N is number of years. Now first of all make one thing sure this 1 is single in the bracket if you see. The 100 is not under 1, 100 is under R. So, amount is equal to principal into bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. This N means number of years, 1 year then 1 bracket, 2 years will be raised to 2, no 2 brackets, only raised to 2. So, the formula is amount is equal to A is equal to P into bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. Let me repeat A is amount, P is principal, R is rate and N is number of years. Now we will see the calculation of amount with different rates. What do you mean by different rates? If the rate are different means what? If the compound interest or amount to be calculated for 2 years and the rate is different means for first year it is 10 percent, for the second year it is 8 percent. Then how do we write the formula? We write A is equal to P only once P, P will come only one time, P into bracket 1 plus R1 upon 100. What is this R1? R1 is the rate for the first year, bracket complete and immediately the second bracket 1 plus R2 upon 100. Now what is R2? The rate for the second year. Now if you notice there is no raise to because for 2 years we have 2 different rates. So, there is not, no, no, but he should write the raise to n because we have already accounted for 2 brackets like for example, A again I am repeating A P 1 plus R 1 upon 100, 1 plus R 2 upon 100. This first bracket R 1 upon 100 bracket is for first year. R2 upon 100 is the bracket for the second year. But remember one thing, P we are writing only once. P we are not repeating. P is only once. So, A is equal to P 1 plus R upon 100 in next bracket 1 plus R1, R2 upon 100. Now, we have seen compound interest yearly calculation and compound interest for 2 years with multiple rates. Now, we will see compound interest yearly and compound interest half yearly. Calcul what do you mean by yearly and half yearly? Yearly means interest is calculated for 1 year and half yearly means interest is calculated every 6 months. So, here if you see the formula A is equal to P into bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. Here please see compound interest compounded half yearly A is equal to P into bracket 1 plus R upon 200 raised to N. I am just making it raised to N. So, first of all see the difference. R upon 100 year for calculation of yearly work, R upon 200 year for calculation of half yearly work, but you will not write anything at the raise to n place. You will just write number of months in one year like for example, we are calculating for one year, then it will be raised to 2 because one year has 2 6 months. Many a times it is written n by 2 
don't write n by 2 just leave that place blank and remember how many months 6 months rather in the year so in this case if it is 2 years then you will write 4 why 4 because in 2 years there are 4 6 months so let us talk about compound interest compounded half yearly so a is equal to p into bracket 1 plus r upon 200 raised to we are not writing anything raised to we will just see what time is given to us so let us repeat a is equal to p 1 plus r upon 200 raised to 2 if it is 1 year raised to 3 if it is 1 and half year raised to 4 if it is 2 years now students we had seen how yearly calculation is done for compound interest compounded yearly and half yearly earlier now we'll see calculation of amount com using compound interest formula the time is one and a half year and the time year also one and a half year now this column is calculation of yearly amount this column is calculation of half yearly amount so what is the difference now the time if you notice it is one and half year so how are we going to write the formula we are going to write a equals to p into bracket 1 plus r upon 100 and another bracket 1 plus r upon 200 now this first bracket which is 1 plus r upon 100 is for one year and the second bracket which is 1 plus r upon 200 is for the 6 months because the time is 1 and half year and the calculation of compound interest is yearly whereas here now let us see time 1 and half year so we directly write a equals to p into bracket 1 plus r upon 200 raised to 3 why 3 because the time is one and half year and it is three months three six months in one and half year so we are directly writing three year now let us go to calculation of two years now under yearly column yearly means compound interest calculated yearly a is equal to p into bracket 1 plus r upon 100 raised to 2 why 2 because the time is given 2 years so directly 2 here there is no bracket other the bracket because interest is calculated yearly and years are only 2 so directly raised to 2 let us come here to compound interest calculated half yearly now in this case we are writing a is equal to p into bracket 1 plus r upon 200 raised to 4 why 4 because in 2 years there are 4 6 months so in this formula raised to 4 now again let us see time change under yearly column time is 2 and half years so for 2 and half years how are we going to write amount is equal to p 1 plus r upon 100 raised to 2 because 2 complete years and the second bracket is for the remaining 6 months so for that we are writing 1 plus r upon 200 now remember children there is nothing raised to because it's a single bracket why is it a single bracket because we are calculating it for half yearly only half yearly but it is coming under the title of yearly again let us see for about two and a half years a is equal to p 1 plus r upon 100 raised to 2 and second bracket 1 plus r upon 100 
This is for two and half years. Now here for semi-annually or half yearly A is equal to P into bracket 1 plus R upon 200 raised to 5 because two and half years, two and half years in two years, four six months and another half six months is total five. So, it is raised to five. So, let us repeat now here A is equal to P into bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to 2. Next bracket 1 plus R upon 200. Here A is equal to P 1 plus R upon 200 raised to 5. 